Welcome back to the Meeple Marathon. Uh, another kind of quick update video for our Adventure Tactics fans. This is the um, first edition upgrade pack. Now, a little public service announcement uh, that I felt like, you know, <laughs> Letterman Games should have been more forthright with this information. I did not receive this in my package of my pledge. And I reached out to them saying, hey, I just want to make sure this is coming in a later package. You said they might be split up. And they said, oh, actually, we came up short on some of our first edition um, update packages. And so I'm just going to refund you the money. I don't have one to send you. And I'm like, what? Um, you know, I felt like this, this game had a lot of typos, errors, whatever that needed to be addressed. It was addressed. You know, I, I paid for my update pack. So anyways, I had to go and pick this one up from Miniature Market. They do have some, but limited quantities. And once those are gone, I don't know where else you're going to find one. So if you are waiting on yours, please check to see if you're still receiving one. If not, you know, go out and grab you one because I would hate for you to miss out on, uh, on this stuff. So Let's just take a look at what everything is here. First of all, this is uh, not necessary, but this is a quality of life upgrade because it basically replaces these cards where you place north somewhere and then you just randomly draw a direction card. This one, you can get rid of all of these cards and just simply roll this die. There are certain uh, battles, scenarios, whatever you want to call it, that use a lot of random movement. And so just having this and being able to roll it makes things so much easier. Also, with the cards, you essentially either had to reshuffle them every time or you were basically going to go through all of the cardinal directions um, before you shuffled again. There's that. The only thing I, I do want to say about this is that in the... Uh, campaign page they had the die looking a lot like you know this you know brown with kind of a gold lettering which I thought looked really classy and looked really nice and and fit in well and then we get this white one which it's okay it's still functional it's just not nearly as nice um I guess you know colored plastic costs more who knows all right um here we have a whole bunch of cards for endless dungeon so this is a way to kind of like, um, you know, wave modes in video games where they just keep coming at you. So you can see that some of these, uh, you know, characters here have super, super high hit point values compared to what they are. Um, and then various level one modifiers, level two modifiers, level three modifiers, things like that. So this was another thing that did not exist except for the stretch goals in uh, in the second campaign. All right, up next we have some errata cards. So these, you know, I, I certainly can't say, like I, I haven't played with or created this character. So Divine Lance or Divine Shield, uh, Uncas Cloak. Um, I'm not seeing anything that, I, I, I don't know of any cards specifically that I was like, oh, that's a big typo on that one. Um, I feel like I've seen eye for an eye, but uh, these are here, so there you go. Some cards to replace ones from the first edition. Then we have our class guide, and I thought this one was interesting because there's only one true change. This is the old one here, and you see the biggest difference is, is that they've taken out the screenshots of the passive or dice cards that you can get as part of your upgrade or part of your, your loadout. I don't know why they did that, because um, they did it, they kept it here, but then you'll see every other one, it is, you know, it is just missing. Whereas, like here, if we go to the, the second page, and I don't know if this was just an error, why they put it on one and not the rest, but anyways, they added a few, like, uh, keywords here, like you can see tricky movement, they added area attacks to the wizard. The only true... Uh, change that I could see that changes how you go about creating your person is with the skirmisher here in the new book they don't, you only need one rogue and one archer whereas before it was rogue and archer that's pretty much it nothing else uh, changes here just graphically a little different so do with it what you will I'll probably still hold on to this 
and uh, if I remember playing with like my kids or somebody and two people want to be looking at it at the same time, then I have two. So there we go. All right, we have our rule book here. Um, I have not read through the new one, but I, you know, it, the, the original one could have been better, but it also wasn't the worst thing in the world. Um, things definitely seem to be a little out of order sometimes. Like you, you wanted to look in one place and it wasn't always there. Um, so yeah, I haven't done a hard comparison yet on this, but there you go. Details of action cards, shopping at the market, revive potions. Okay, class features. So yeah, I'm not quite sure how much errata is in that one. This is a big one though, because, and I'm gonna turn to the first scenario here. So I don't consider this spoilerish because no matter if you're gonna play at all, you're gonna see this first one. But, um, so here we have the battle with Rig Rigby here. And it says on Rigby's card, hold on, let me find Rigby's cards here. Because this was this was like one of the first things I, I noticed, and a lot of people noticed, was that what they called them here. So, let's see, uh, every gang member, okay. Uh, gang archer, gang archer, gang member, okay. So, that's the type of stuff they have corrected here. In the previous book, it says goblin archer, which, oh, that's the wrong book. Um, which makes sense, uh, to a degree, but... Uh, let me find the number one here. Yeah, you can see here it says Goblin Minion, Goblin Archer, which is fine. They both have the GMGA uh, lettering there. So you were able to easily find, and you knew who they were talking about, but it just seemed like a huge oversight in my opinion. Um, I'm not gonna go any further other than this, this first one here. I am curious about a few others that seemed darn near impossible to beat now this is a fail forward campaign so losing in those scenarios may have been on purpose maybe they were deliberately hard on purpose but uh, i'm not going to show that on camera so i don't spoil anything but there is the updated campaign guide i don't think they added anything to it i think again it's just errata and then we have uh some more stuff if you do order for miniature market make sure you ask them to flat pack it with something else um i ordered this and then just a couple other small things and then one game and i um made use of one of their reduced shipping uh, benchmarks to ship it but they shipped the game separate from this and so then this was just in a box with some paints and stuff uh, for miniature painting and it just you know it got bent up a little bit I think it's going to be okay at the end of the day. I'm not going to bother trying to reduce the amount of update packs there are in the world. But you can see this goes along with the die. So you'll just kind of stick this up in the corner now. Well, okay, there we go. Stick this up in the corner uh, to, to point where north is so that when you roll this die, you know that, okay, north is up that way. And you can could, you could stick it on any corner you want. Also, we have the standees here for the uh, elite class packs. So, you know, where like Necromancer here. And I I may or may not uh, play with these because I really like that these look like my character now. So right now I'm playing with the Necromancer, the Beast Trainer, and the Bishop here. And I, I'm perfectly happy with the, the standees uh, for the enemies. And so I may just, I, I, I've, paint, I've taken the time to paint up my other ones. If I were to ever buy miniatures for this game, it would probably be for these miniatures. So I could change out my heroes, um, hero pack one. And then we have, uh, last but not least, some larger health tokens um, for any time. If you, they have an app, uh, a companion app that's free to download and can help you track the boss battles health which is what i do um especially because the tokens up till now only went as high as 10 but here's a 25 and a 50 and then they have these larger ones here which i'm assuming are just meant to replace these smaller ones um because these really didn't fit quite well in uh, on the box or maybe there's just new scenarios that are using larger ones but let's see how these fit 
So here's a board and these kind of take up four squares, putting one in the middle. Whereas before it was attempting to just kind of cover up one and you could still touch the outside ones. Um, again, I'll have to look and see. There was no like instruction book or anything with the upgrade pack. So I don't know if these are meant to be replacing these smaller ones or in addition to, but again, I'm probably not gonna get rid of the smaller ones just in case, you never know. Anyways, that's gonna do it for our quick update on Adventure Tactics. Um, this was again, the first edition upgrade pack. So if you purchased the game way back when, either retail or the original Kickstarter, what they are selling now um, is not necessarily the same. So um, go try and pick this up before they run out. Anyways, if you have any further questions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. Have a great night.